Christian, I do want to get your opinion on the disconnect with the wide receivers this year. You know, Lauren Sisler, the analyst on the SEC Network, was saying a lot of it had to do with the fact that Bryce Young has not been full-time. He's only played in games and really hasn't been active in practice, and it's kind of throwing everything off. Do you agree with her standpoint, or do you feel like it's something more? To answer your question, Bryce not practicing has nothing to do with it. That's not the first time that has happened. I don't care who, I don't care where you where you play ball, saw ball, been around ball. There comes a time, either middle of the season, beginning of the, beginning of the season, especially with quarterbacks. You don't need you don't need that. You didn't get you done had enough chemistry through spring, summer. By the time the game comes, just run the route. He's gonna put the ball there. You know that. Our guys are dropping balls that are here. <laughs> it ain't no making no spectacular plays. Man, We're dropping balls out of catch. I mean, come on, like for real, though. Like it's like simple things that's going on. So I don't know. Because they scared, they scared they finna get hit. That, and I was just about to say this, bro. There is a lack of toughness in our receiving core. A lack of t- like I'm talking about real. I ain't talking about yip yapping and talking and dancing. I'm talking about real toughness. Like you can't see me, and I'm finna prove this to you. You go watch them games. Our um Bryce, everybody talk about our O line. Is it the best? No, but Bryce plenty of times have sat back there mm-hmm. and took cover sacks or ran. It's like uh, because we got Seaver that can't get open. That's what I'm saying. But, but he's still not taking watch. running lanes either. In he has reason, opportunities to run the ball, soft, bro. The can I? Can I? Can I because they not doing extra work. We got balls getting dropped right here, man. I'm talking about right here, guys. I agree. I agree. It, 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 they ain't got to be no superhero, man. Bryce doing everything and have been doing everything that he could possibly do, man. Like I, like, like any other quarterback at another school probably wouldn't even be playing with the injury that he that he had. And we all seen it in some of his throws since he's been back. He ain't really been the same. But the most wide open we was with against Tennessee with Isaiah Bond. Oh, the, what's that? What, Tennessee or Arkansas? I think that was Tennessee. He was right down the middle. That's the most open we've been all season. Here's the reality of it. You know, you, you talk about looking receivers off. One of the most important things a quarterback can do is to look those receivers off to draw defenders away. But at the same time, it's a combination of things. It's a matter of the plays you call to make those defenders think twice about coming up or whether or not they're going to drop back and then having that ability to look receivers off. That is the key to have on receivers that are wide open. That's how you run that sluggo. Because, again, when you start running them screen passes and you start making those safeties and corners respect that screen and come up, now you opened up that sluggo and you look that receiver off. I mean, now you've drawn the safety into the box. It's so many little things that goes into a play before the play, before the ball comes out. So, again, but that goes back to the offensive coordinator and the plays he's calling and how he's setting up that quarterback to run the plays. I agree. I, I I don't I don't like Bill O'Brien. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs>